Hello friends, today we will determine the hemoglobin level that is estimation of the hemoglobin by the Sahlis method. Okay, So, let us see what are the instruments or the apparatus required for that. So, first of all we require hydrochloric acid that is N by 10 hydrochloric acid distilled water then uh, instruments such like uh, lancets and uh, surgical spirit or gauze piece or swabs okay, for collection of the blood then the most important one is this Sahlis hemometer. Okay, Let us see what is there inside this box. So, one by one we will see. So, first and foremost is the hemoglobin pipette. So, this hemoglobin pipette you can see there is a marking 20 cubic millimeter or it will be 20 microliters. Few of the pipettes it will be few company that is it will show 20 microliters. Then this is a glass rod or the stirrer used to mix the contents. Then the most important one is this hemoglobin tube. Now, there is certain graduations which are present on this hemoglobin tube. Uh, you can see this yellow color, this markings are from 2 to 22 grams. Okay, We can see more better in this diagram. So, 2 to from 2 to 22 grams on one side and the red color markings from in percentage 10 to 140 percentage. Okay, So, if you can see I will try to focus it. So, in the yellow color 2 to 22 grams percentage and on the other side in the red color 10 to 140 percentage. Okay, Now, the other thing in the hemometer box there is a dropper and this rectangular structure it is known as comparator okay it is written here as sahlis hemometer so you can see at the center there is a slot to insert the hemoglobin tube right and on either side you can see that is there is a tinted glass okay uh, the color is a dark brown or orangish color that is used as a comparator for comparing the color okay the point will be more clear when we will do the procedure so first firstly we will take N by 10 HCl in the hemoglobin tube at the lower most marking that is 2 grams, 2 grams okay with the help of the dropper we are inserting oh uh, sorry we are pouring 2 up to 2, 2 grams that is the lower most mark N by 10 hydrochloric acid okay in this small bottle there is a hydrochloric acid. Now once we have placed that now with aseptic precautions will prick the finger preferably ring finger and the middle finger ring or the middle finger with aseptic precautions. So, for that you should uh, use a cotton swab or gauze piece and just pour a small amount of the spirit okay, and wipe it out on the finger tip okay, and wipe it out on the finger tip and allow it to dry allow it to dry allow it to dry. Okay. Then by using a sterile lancet with one stroke, this is the most important part where uh, students will find very much difficulty, but uh, once it uh, you practice these things, it will be easy for you. So, with one stroke, with a one firm stroke, you have to prick the tip of the finger like this and after that a drop of blood will come. Okay. So, first few drops actually one or two drops you need to discard it because mainly it is a tissue fluid, it is a tissue fluid. Okay, Then wait for some time when a big drop actually you should not squeeze it, it should come automatically. Uh, a big drop will appear at the finger tip when a enough big drop is there, then just place the pipette mouthpiece in the mouth and the other end you should just bring near the drop of blood and try to suck it. So, with the capillary action also it will automatically it will be the blood is taken up see how it is taken up then you have to collect the blood up to 20 microliter mark okay, pi 20 microliter or cubic millimeter. So, make sure that there should be no air bubbles in between this there should be no air bubbles in between this okay. If you have a enough uh, blood drop then you will get a good quantity of the blood okay now it is okay so see this uh, there should not be the, if at all you are getting the air drops you have to just discard it and you have to recollect it okay we are getting bit error but it's okay you have to recollect the blood so the blood is not coming so now we have to recollect the blood actually we should not do it do in one sitting only but still, still we have made it and uh, we have collected the 
blood up to 20 microliter. Then immediately we need to pour that blood uh, in the hemoglobin tube. Okay. We, if there is extra blood you need to wipe it but make sure that you should not wipe the tip. Now this is how you need to mix it, mix the blood which was collected with the hemoglobin yes with the n by 10 HCl. So you have to mix it several times you have to take inside that is like the fluid and again re-pour it back into the tube. So once you mix it you have to rinse rinse several times okay you have to rinse several times and uh, you have to wait for 10 minutes okay once you have mixed it you can use even the stirrer to mix it thoroughly so properly mix it and keep it for keep it for 10 minutes okay keep it for 10 minutes now we have already done it to save the time so after 10 minutes after 10 minutes you can see so it's like that then you will get a dark brown fluid after 10 minutes. So the very purpose here is the principle of the practical is to convert the hemoglobin into acid hematin. Once you uh, mix the blood with the n by 10 hydrochloric acid, will the hemoglobin which is present in the blood is converted into acid hematin. Now you have to pour the distilled water. You have to pour the distilled water drop by drop and mix it with the stirrer and you have to mix it with the stirrer. But uh, make sure that the stirrer should never be removed completely throughout the procedure. Once it is kept inside the hemoglobin tube, you should never remove it completely. Though you should remove a bit, but you should never remove it completely outside the hemoglobin tube. Okay? Then you have to mix it, you have to mix it. Now simultaneously you have to compare this, as you can see. Uh, the color in the center it is bit darker as compared to this comparator side tubes. So again we need to dilute it further, we need to dilute it further and while uh, uh, comparing the color you should always see that uh, uh, the stirrer should be removed bit above because when the stirrer is present inside the tube then the it will appear bit lighter, the color will appear bit lighter. So you have to mix it thoroughly. You have to mix it thoroughly. So till the color matches you go on adding slowly slowly uh, distilled water. But make sure you should never over dilute it because once you over dilute it, it will be very difficult to concentrate, you can't concentrate it. So again you have to check, okay still it is becoming darker, again still distilled water need to be added, okay still distilled water, water need to be added. Okay. So you have to add, go on adding, go on adding the distilled water and mix the contents thoroughly, mix the contents thoroughly. So this is the main step and basically it is a comparator method with full of errors. So in and comparing the color again it is a subjective thing. So you may not get the exact value but nearly approximately you may get the value. Now you can see. Okay still bit concentrated, yeah it is appearing, uh, still we have to add it, okay. it is bit uh, darker in the center, we have to add, we have to always check against the natural light. So again we have to add few drops of water, again distilled water, we have to add few drops of the distilled water. So I request those who have not subscribed our channel to please subscribe our channel Doctor's Corner for this quality content and other lectures on physiology and other things. Now you can see, uh, it is almost similar now, it is almost similar, okay. Now let us see how much is the value, how much is the value. So if you just check it out in grams, so you can see it is uh, about 12 mark, about 12 mark that is. Uh, and below 14 that is in between that it is 13 grams. So the hemoglobin level is 13 grams. So you have to check here in the grams percentage is 13 gram percentage. So that is how this is uh, we determine the hemoglobin level and you, by the Salis hemoglobin matter. Okay? So stay tuned with us for the other practice.